Hi everyone, this is Nelson Lima and I'm here today to show you uh, about the Ocean plugin I'm working on. I have opened recently um, a thread in the forum Gauge Interest for another Ocean plugin with a lot of features. So you can find this, this thread here. It's another Ocean plugin inside the HUM Unreal Engine Marketplace. And, uh, and for this I am proposing uh, uh, a continuation or progress made on top of the VA Ocean. Uh, it is a plugin that you can find uh, inside the forums at the home development discussion engine insert in GitHub. This is the name Ocean Surfer Simulation Plugin. This is the the original plugin. It was made long time ago, uh, 2014, uh, matching with um, uh, the release of Unreal uh, 4.0 and it was carried uh, through some time and made in some updates by, by some folks and uh, for the user uh, Ufina and uh, inside the the, 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 the the thread there is a lot of discussions and uh, people that today uh, some uh, comments from Epic also and up to now uh, this plugin uh, was like abandoned uh, it uh, cares about a, uh, a Tessendorf Tessendorf uh, method to using a uh, fast Fourier transform to bring uh, wave motion like we see in the ocean uh, to a plane and uh, I, that is another user we are both um, uh, looking into this because we currently are using the uh, whip weather in ocean Water shader. It is a free community uh, project. Uh, it was like an, also in 2014 for .cam, and like in we are currently me and Eva Posty Gaming. Uh, we are discussing changes into the uh, VA plugin uh, to VA Ocean plugin to to make it work again. And up to now, I got it working for 4.16, and Eva Plus in Gaming has it working for 4.17, 4.18, and 4.19. It is still in, in preview, but he has made it. And I'd like to show you guys uh, what it looks like uh, by now. Uh, this is the. the uh, uh, the unchanged uh, uh, plugin. The only things I have changed here was the ocean material. So it is quite basic. I have added some specular and made some lerps for for the colors. And for now, for dealing with some roughness and some. Uh, death aid or the opacity uh, I kept some some stuff that was placed in I, I made some really large terrain I made the high largest terrains possible to put uh, under the ocean and applied uh, a sand tester to blend as we have some rocking and you guys can see now the uh, death aid working uh, near the shore and let me play it for it to get it easier I took the third person and you guys can see we have our sun here we have actually a post processing put into convolution uh, so you can see the bloom that is some some bouquet and you guys can see for the sun position I get some some reflection the water for the, 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 the sunlight 
uh, I have a little bit of, of metallic and a specular for, for this water that are three colors and, and also I am using the uh, subsurface uh, pin in the material output so you can have some some grayish color for the uh, subsurface and there is no fog applied as you guys can see here no fog applied and the sky sphere is the, the the basic one I have turned it off the colors determined by Sun for this position we have like some um, uh, something going to violet and without it, it just you can see the, the clouds down there a little bit better that was the intention um, skylight uh, intensity is 0.8 uh, full white okay nothing else um, for the ocean simulator uh, I'm using all the full values here this is basically for the spectrum config uh, patch length means that we have patches of 2000 units it should be replicated on the surface the time scale at 0.8 means we are uh, reducing it a bit so one will become like the, the, the current uh, normal timing wave amplitude is point that you can go as far as a large numbers to have greater waves here you can change the wind direction so you see in the simulation that the waves will change the direction uh, wind speed uh, how much the simulation depends on the wind speed Shopee scale means how the crests for the waves you looks like and these are the render targets where the simulation is occurring and these render targets you see that I'm not playing it but they are being updated uh, it is because they are being updated in the the shaders uh, it's just part of this so this is a C++ plugin and the simulation is happen as we have still the uh, real-time chicken here and for the the performance it's quite nice I show you guys I have put in the level blueprint I am uh, increasing a little bit in the stream pool side this is not necessary but I am turning off vsync uh, endless uh, frame rate uh, scale scalability for for epic full screen uh, full HG for the resolution okay so when I click here standalone game that is what you see So just putting this down there so you guys can can see how the the, the performance is taking for this uh, this machine uh, I am running a 4 gigahertz processor and an GTX 1080 and as you guys can see in full HG we are having here 9.8 in average 9.8 FPS the, it didn't reach 100 so it is a uh, nice uh, wave is for like the mid ocean I think the, the waves should be better for the, the shore but this is uh, because 
it's based on the early notes for Tessendorf, so I have to change this. I'll show how it looks like from the behind. Since our wind is blowing in that way, so it's not bad. It's like interesting. See here the performance is like a little bit higher. And if you guys ask me, oh, but is is it already an infinite ocean applied? No, it's still not an infinite ocean applied. Right now, this is a um, very large uh, disc-shaped uh, plane, and I applied the material on it, so I can make it a little bit smaller if I want to and make it follow the camera so this disc uh, shaped uh, plane it has a higher uh, triangle counts in the middle and get less triangles uh, outside as the radius increase uh, there is still no no post processing i still uh, going to add this uh, later I, I just wanted to show how it is uh, if it is material uh, right now, uh, it uh, taxes, I think, uh, very uniformly. I have made experiments with uh, small uh, planes and even larger planes. Uh, I guess I used a plane of five hundred kilometers and the performance is still the same so it's very a very fast shader and just for you guys to to look at this uh, the uh, base pass shader is just 349 and the vertex shader 136 so it's uh, not much here but again we still have uh, other shaders working, uh, so this is just for the look and feel. Uh, but the shaders that are responsible uh, for painting these render targets, okay, um, these are. Uh, this two each we can see them here they are constantly being updated here even when I am not playing uh, so if I play there you go so it is uh, a real fast uh, shaders and you see that Inside the editor, I can see the the, the current uh, ocean level and so on. And uh, for right now, uh, what I do is uh, freezing this version here uh, into 417. The, just the the shaders have changed a lot from the 416 to 417. And after that, I will start working. Uh, on the look and feel material for the the, the ocean, uh, trying to bring uh, some fun on the the, the 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 waves and the crests and and the shore, and uh, so with some tr some tricks there to to make it feel a little better, and as gets near the uh, the shore to cause some effects here and increasing the the cresting for for the so we can have some splashing on these waves and make it the uh, the plane to follow the camera so you can really have a endless so you can see now I'm moving to the edge 
So this is it. So the tessellation uh, using use. So we we have a tessellated material here. So that's why I'm telling the performance is really nice. I, I still didn't make tests without tessellation, but can be done. I think it works as just as fine. And of course, uh, we may might have uh, some interesting effects at. Uh, in the middle or it means near the center of the the plane because uh, without the solution going to the borders you'll not be that much I think that you want a little border of water like if you have uh, a shore and the plane is just happening the shore I think this this plane with the falling camera turn it off it's enough so you will gain some some few FPS um, there is no uh, uh, there is no uh, buoyancy yet I think it, the outer have stopped it in this part because if I play here you just see sorry let's get back here you just see the objects uh, going to the bottom All right and the buoyancy is perfectly uh, possible I see no reasons for these you have see that you have physics applied here so the the idea is to make this floating with physics uh, no tricks and as soon as I have more progress to show I'll, I'll make it to you guys and place the video here thank you everyone bye bye